What's going on guys, I'm Marty back at again with the Weekly Rust Skins videos and just quickly this video is sponsored by Games.gg so keep in mind this thing does have Roulette, Crash, Blackjack, it's got the Upgrader as well. You can also deposit your skins through Rust at the moment but soon you're going to be able to deposit them through Dota 2 and Counter-Strike GO skins as well. Plus you can also deposit through credit card, PayPal, gift cards or for a 40% bonus, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and also Litecoin. And you can also withdraw your winnings through Ruskin. And of course, guys, if you do want to use my affiliate code, you can do so. Link will be in the description below. Gains.gg slash r slash almighty. If you do jump on Gains.gg, guys, good luck. And remember, have a skits one. What's going on, guys? So Mighty back at again with the weekly Ruskins videos. And it is the Lunar New Year week again this year this time around so this is the year of the tiger of course and we'll get started with the limited store actually let's quickly look at the general store we still don't have that arctic hazmat skin i'm not really sure when that's coming it must be soon i would imagine um but let's get started so if you guys want to listen to my thoughts about the uh old chinese new year stuff like the chinese lantern dragon door knocker new year gong then go and check out my past Chinese New Year videos and I do discuss them there. But just briefly, I'm going to mention the Chinese Lantern is probably the best one out of the old face punch items. And that's just because that's really the only one that actually gives you a pay to win aspect as this is used as a light source. Not really going to talk about them much else throughout this video. So I'm going to skip over and start off with the Gold Lunar Tiger Door and the Jade Lunar Tiger Door at the same time. Just because they're going to be... Um, on the same wavelength of thoughts. So overall the gold lunar tiger door in my opinion is a nicer looking door um, But that is just because I personally like that aesthetic better than the jade lunar tiger door Overall though, they're not really meta door skins at the moment The meta door skins you're going for are the cutouts and the glowing deployables and currently uh, neither of these skins have either of those um, features so Overall, with the Gold Lunar Tiger Door and the Jade Lunar Tiger Door, both going for $2.75. I'm not going to recommend investing in either of them off of the Rust Adam store. I do think they're both very nice looking sheet metal door skins, but unfortunately, I don't think they're going to have the demand to go up in value and make you profits overall. So overall, not going to recommend investing in either of these door skins off of the Rust Adam store for this week. Moving over to the Large Tiger Box. Overall, this is pretty much going to be the same as what I just said about the door skins. It's not a glowing deployable. I do think more people would want to buy this over the doors just because they might want to go with a Japanese styled loot room. But overall, $2.75, I don't think that this large tiger box is going to make you profits either just because we already have all these glowing deployables um, that are more pay to win and more beneficial to use in the game especially on a vanilla servers with night times um, that get quite dark. So overall, not going to recommend investing in the large tiger box off the Russell store for this week either. I do think you're probably going to be able to get the gold lunar tiger door, jade lunar tiger door, and the large tiger box off of the community market or the buy order for cheaper than what they are on the Russell store as well. So keep that in mind. Moving over to the Sky Lantern. Now, this is the new face punch item. Um, this is a unique item in itself. It's not a skin for anything else. Um, honestly, I do see potential in the Sky Lantern. It is going for $5.50, so uh, let me continue with what I'm saying first. Overall, I do think that there is a chance that this can go up in value, but it's going to be a very specific time. The Sky Lantern could be used as a pay-to-win item. Let's just say, for example, someone's expo rating from... Um, the top of a base down for example and they can't get down otherwise they're going to get their cheeks clapped or something like that and your mate sends up a sky lantern with some uh, explo ammo or something like that in the sky lantern they shoot it down they get the explo ammo and then you know they, they can keep going from there overall stuff like that i do think is extremely niche but there is some sort of pay to win aspect to it it's definitely going to be very specific and very niche but if a big YouTuber does see something like this and find a strat to pull off like this that actually is very beneficial, um, then the price of the Sky Lantern is going to go up by quite a lot for the next couple of days to a week tops, I would say, um, before it goes back down in value. So, of course, that would mean that you would have to keep on top of all of the meta happening with Rust at the moment. But if that were to happen, then the Sky Lantern would go up in value by quite a lot 
for a short period of time. So the only thing is the Sky Lantern is $5.50. So if you are someone with a smaller wallet, let's say $50, even $20, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Sky Lantern just because it is going to take up a decent chunk of your money, um, one fifth to uh, more. Um, overall, I do think that it can make you money, but as I said, it's going to be a very niche, very specific time when it actually does. So I'm not going to recommend investing in this one for the people with smaller wallets, but people that can afford it, then I will recommend investing in it, especially if you're keeping on top of all of the YouTube content creators, all of the Switch, uh, Twitch content creators, and also the Rust Meta. I do think that as long as someone finds a strat for this, then this thing's definitely going to go up in value. The description for it as well is a set of beautiful Sky Lanterns, comes in five colors, can be launched in any direction, has one inventory slot. So um, from the video that I saw from Shadowfrax, he put an AK in there. I'm going to assume that you can put anything in there, um, but I could be wrong. But if you can, then that is going to make it um, pay to win in some sort of way that someone will eventually find. And that is my thoughts on the Sky Lantern for the Russum store for this week. Alrighty, moving over to the Small Tiger box, going for $2.05. Now this is actually a continuation as we had this same box for last year's skins. And that was the ox box that is going for two dollars and fifty four cents this one's going for two dollars and five cents they both look the same although this one has the tiger symbol in japanese for it and of course the tiger head um whereas the ox one had the ox for both so overall i do think this one can make you money i don't think it's going to make you a crazy amount of money um the ox one's going for two dollars and fifty four cents as i said this one's going for two dollars and five cents i do think it's going to perform um similar to the ox box um, but most likely it will be slightly more expensive because tigers are cooler than oxes. So overall, I do think that the tiger small box can, uh, small tiger box, sorry, can make you money. But overall, I don't think it's going to be a crazy amount. So overall, I will recommend investing in it, but I don't think it's going to be a massive amount of profits. Alright, moving over to the tiger AR going for $3.45. Overall, this is a sick looking AK skin. The only problem is it's $3.45. And there's so many AK skins on the community market already. Everyone's got their own favorite AK skin. Everyone wants to use the Alien Reds. Everyone wants to use the Glory Sights. Everyone wants to use the bloody Anubis. Everything else that has a Glow Sight. Um, but this Tiger AR looks really mint. I do think that this is actually going to have a demand. Um, but for $3.45, I do think it's already at a higher um, price point of course this is above standard store price for weapons and deployables on the Rust Sunum store weapons and tools sorry and overall I will recommend investing in this one but I would also recommend trying to get this one off of the community market to buy order to try and maximize your potential profits for this one as I do see um, a high chance of this one being oversaturated on the community market but overall if you do pick up the Tiger AR as a play skin I do think you can still make profits off of this Tiger AK for this week. So overall, I will recommend investing in the Tiger AR as a long-term investment off of the Russell M store, or trying to pick it up with a buy order on the community market for cheaper. All right, moving over to the Tiger Garage Door, going for $4.80. This is a glowing deployable, and I do think all the anime kids are going to love this one. Joey D has probably already bought 3,000 of them. So overall, I do think that this is a pretty sick looking garage door, and I do think that all of the Japanese styled kids that love to wear that Japanese stuff on their shirts are going to absolutely froth over this Tiger Garage door. The only problem is it's going for $4.80, so already it has a very high initial starting price on the Rust Adam store. Um, if you do get this one with a buy order for a little bit cheaper on the community market, I do definitely think you're gonna be able to make more money off of this one. Overall, I do think you can still make profit off of it buying it off of the Rust Adam store, but compared to buying it off of the community market with a buy order, um, I don't think you're going to be able to make as much. So overall, I recommend investing in the Tiger Garage Door with the community market buy orders. Um, but the Rust Adam Store, I do think you're definitely going to be pushing it for $4.80 um, because you have to keep in mind you've got Steam tax as well um, if you're going to cash out on Steam. So overall, I will recommend investing in the Tiger Garage Door but off of the community market with the buy orders instead. Moving over to the Tiger Mask. In my opinion, these items are pay to win. So this is the wolf headdress but it is its own unique skin like the rat mask dragon mask ox mask and the nest hat which i'm actually pretty sure is 
um, less bullet protection than these other items that I've just stated, listed beforehand. So the Tiger Mask is, in my opinion, a pay to win item. It looks sick. Um, the reason for why it's pay to win is because it's, I'm pretty sure only 10 seconds instead of the 30 seconds for a wolf headdress to craft. And so that does make it, um, of course, situationally better and more pay to win. So overall, I will recommend investing in the Tiger Mask off of the community market with the buy order, um, just because the masks actually don't really perform that well. We've had the Ox Mask um, go for $4.23 at the moment on the community market. The Rat Mask go for $16.49, and the Dragon Mask going for $12.33, which was the OG mask, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. So overall, they do perform all around the same price. I think the Tiger Mask is probably gonna go for around about $12. Um, so you can, you can of course, make money if you buy it off of the Rust Item Store and just use it as a play skin. But of course, if you do buy it off of the community market with the buy order, you're going to be able to maximize your potential profits, make some more money, and overall make more profits, of course. So that is what I'm going to recommend to do, but overall, really nice looking uh, skin face bunch, good work. We've got a trillion skins this week, so moving over to the Tiger Pipe Water Pipe Shotgun. This is $2.75, and overall, I do think this one is going to definitely make you profits. Pipes like this just seem to perform well. Anything that really has a clean aesthetic on the water pipe always seems to perform quite well, especially if they're bright colored. I do see the potential of this one going to $5 plus and overall that reload animation seeing that tiger just with the shell pop out of its mouth that is absolutely sick and a mad idea by the skin creator on this one. Overall I would love to door camp some players with this one and so I will recommend investing in the tiger pipe off of the rust item store for this week as I do think it's definitely going to make you profits in the future. Moving over to the Year of the Tiger Furnace, going for $2.75. This one does glow while it's turned on. Um, overall, I do like what it looks like in the night. I haven't actually seen what it looks like in game, but I do think that in these screenshots, it looks pretty ugly, to be honest, during the daytime. Um, I don't really like that it's fully red like that. Um, I'm assuming that it's meant to be based off of the Chinese lanterns as well, but I just don't really love that it's full red and it kind of hides the tiger a little bit, in my opinion because of the coloring. But overall, it does seem like people do like it as it currently is the fourth on the top sellers. So I do see potential in the year of the Tiger Furnace making you profits, um, but I do think this is going to be more of a long-term investment. We do already have so many glowing uh, furnace skins, so I don't really think that's a unique thing for furnace skins, but it does go down to what the demand will be for the Rust player base. So if you see this one quite a lot, um, while you're raiding bases, assuming that you can raid bases in Rust, then I'd recommend getting it because it probably is showing you that a lot of people do like the Year of the Tiger Furnace. Um, as I just said, it is fourth on the top seller, so clearly it's making some sales, and so people must enjoy the Furnace skin. It is also only $2.75. Um, you could try and get this one off of the community market with the buy order for a little bit cheaper. Uh, that's probably what I'm going to recommend to do. Plus, I also do think it would be the safer option just because furnace skins don't perform very well sometimes. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Year of the Tiger Furnace off the Rust Item Store because I do consider it a bit of a coin flip, but I will recommend getting it with a buy order on the community market just to see how it goes because I do think it can make you money. Um, it really just depends on the demand. Moving over to the final skin of the week, we've got the Year of the Tiger SAR going for $2.75 and I have no idea why, but it shows this as a pipey in the first screenshot on the Rust Item Store. Don't know if that was the skin creator just accidentally making a mistake, possibly trolling, but I don't know what it is, but I think it's cool that it is like that and it's stuffing up at the moment and it's glitched. But overall, this SAR skin looks absolutely skit. It is a stockless one, so it does have that unique cutout, um, but a lot of SAR skins these days do have that. Overall, like the 3D modeling on this looked really nice as well. And I do think that this Year of the Tiger SAR is going to make you money. I'd recommend picking this one up even as a play skin. And I do think in the future, this one is going to go up and make you some money. A lot of people use the SAR every single wipe. Um, in fact, most people do. And so I do think the Year of the Tiger SAR will get used by quite a lot of people. And I do think that the demand will be there once it leaves Rust on the store to make you some profit. So overall, I will recommend investing in the Year of the Tiger SAR off of the Rust Arm store for this week.
All right, guys, this is my car for this week. I'm not really investing. I'm not getting that extra sheet metal door, the uh, jade one, and I'm also not getting something else. I've forgotten. Uh, it's going to cost me $39.20. I'm getting pretty much one of everything else. Um, I do have the base punch items from the previous years already, except for the Chinese lantern, because I just sold mine to make it profit and then quickly bought it back for a little bit cheaper. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and remember, have a skits one. Why? 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 Why?